So now let's continue with the other icons. Um, let's we have again. Let's bring one down to practice bringing things up or down. So we'll bring one of the two items down. Um, here we'll have again the cog. But this cog is different because, as I mentioned, a cog allows you to change the settings. In the other case, the settings were off the label for that box, but or for that block, but it every single item in Moodle has different options, usually every single item you can add. So in this case it's a form. A form, there are various types of forms. So this one is a news form that comes with every course, so you can't really modify this one much. But still, even with that, you can change various things. You can change the description, news, updates, and announcements. So it allows you to change various things within it. Great. Let's bring the other one down as well to practice moving things up or down. And again, let's not, let's now duplicate. We haven't duplicated anything so far. Let's go ahead and duplicate it because that allowed me to put something in the top box and something in the bottom box. So we'll return to the course. If I wanted to change the title of one of them. I just click on the little pencil, press enter, and I just change the title. Let's duplicate it again. Duplication is, again, it has like two little pieces of paper. That's for duplication. So it looks like a copy of one paper to another. Return to course. So now we have three of them. But now we get to the part where we can delete. So let's go ahead and delete one of them. Great. So now we going through most of the icons. The eye, we went over it before. It allows us to hide, so this wouldn't be visible to students. If you notice that there's no eye for the labels, so if a block is not unhidden, so if I hide the whole block, then students wouldn't be able to see that human rights block. But otherwise, they'll be able to see the block and the label. The label is part of, of the block. There are other types of labels, and that's the next part I wanted to highlight. Well, before we do that, a couple other icons. This one highlights the little light bulb. Let's stop there for a while. This topic is highlighted as the current topic. So as you go on to your course, highlight the topic that students are supposed to be in. Okay. So now you have editing access to this course. So one of the things that I usually recommend is that you go ahead and modify one of the blocks. So if there are five people in the room, each person gets a different block. So we'll go three, four, five, six, seven. If there are more people in the room, we can even add blocks to it. So here at the bottom, we have the ability to add more blocks. Let's add 17. But it's important to practice. So what I usually recommend is you play with your own block. Try things out in your own block. Again, modify the topic and add a table, copy text in there. But that's as much as we can do right now. We haven't been able to do some things that are pretty important, such as add documents, such as add other resources, URLs, and add assignments, activities for students to do. Before, Moodle had two menus, one for activities, one for resources, but now they're being collapsed into one menu. Bef well, before I go into the activities and resources, again, modify your topic one once more, add a different thing to your topic, um, maybe add an image this time around, or a video, and, and maybe, let's go back to the editing, you have the ability to even type the HTML code if you want to. So modify it, and if you don't type the HTML code, let's say the second topic is, the third topic is um, poverty. In the US, Minnesota, Causes possible solutions different perspectives. Okay. So once I add that there without noticing, I can look at the HTML code for that. So I am typing in a WixSig editor doesn't mean that there's no HTML code, it's just that you don't have to type it, it's typed for you. Great, so now we have human rights and poverty. So this is how you start, you can, as you can see, you can use this label to 
to outline what students are doing. You could tell them, let's modify topic two as another example. Again, if you look at the HTML code, it's written for you. You can add links if you want to, highlight one, click on the link button and add a link that you want. To. Or you can even add pop-ups and, and other things. It's pretty diverse what you can do with it. But in there, let's say we wanted to put deadlines, we could say Write on, write on the forum by Wednesday, comment on class, Oops, by Friday. It's important to sometimes have a sequence on online courses, so if you always ask for certain things every week, even if you're asking, of course, of a different topic with a different agenda, that you keep some sort of regularity to the course so that people can adapt to it and modify their schedule accordingly so that every week is not completely different because I'll throw people off. So in this case, I'm choosing Wednesday and Friday as the weekly events.